and welcome to TestCube. TestCube is a test orchestration and execution framework powered by Kubernetes. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and run TestCube no matter where you are in your Kubernetes journey. Let's get started. First, you're going to navigate to testcube.io and click on the Get Started button. For today's tutorial, we're going to get started with the on-prem license. So click Download, complete the form, and your license key will be sent to the indicated email in a matter of minutes. If you don't find it, be sure to check your spam folder. Included in the email with your license key is a link to the Get Started guide in our documentation, and that's where we're going to begin. Following our Quick Start guide, navigate to your terminal, choose your operating system, and use the provided commands to install the TestCube CLI followed by the TestCube agent. TestCube requires you to have a Kubernetes cluster up and running. For this tutorial, we'll assume that you already have a cluster ready to go. But if not, you can explore TestCube in our demo environment or follow our documentation for steps to install a kind or mini cube cluster in just a few minutes. Once the TestCube CLI and agent have been installed, you'll need to connect the agent to your cluster. You can do this by typing in the name of your cluster followed by the previously requested license key. Type in the command to launch the dashboard and there you go. Test cube is installed and running, and we're ready to create our first test. You can create your first test using the CLI or from the dashboard following the workflow wizard. The wizard will prompt you to create from the wizard, start from an example, combine existing workflows, or import from a YAML. In this case, we're going to start from an example. Starting from an example allows you to begin with one of TestCube's many example workflows, including test flows for tools like K6, Playwright, Cypress, Postman, JMeter, Gradle, and more. Let's start with the Playwright test. Test workflows are Kubernetes CRDs with the usual API version, kind, and metadata to configure the sequential steps of your test automation pipeline. Click on the YAML file to directly define your test name, add labels for easier filtering and grouping, and to check specs and content property to fetch your test case and source code. Then click Create and Run, and congratulations, you've created your first test workflow. Once your test has been executed successfully, navigate to the main dashboard. Here, you can explore your test results, find the corresponding CLI commands, review and edit test content, adjust resource usage, add secrets, and schedule your custom test workflow by adding a Chrome job for automated test triggering. Explore further in our integrations tab. Here, you can trigger future test workflow executions based on Kubernetes events, add webhooks, and integrate TestCube with the CI-CD tool of your choice, including GitHub Actions, Jenkins, Circle CI, Azure DevOps, Argo CD, and more. Simply click on the tool of your interest to be directed to our docs to get set up quickly. Now that you've got one workflow done, let's set up a couple more. Click Add a new workflow. Let's start from an example again. On the top navigation bar, choose Parallel Executions. This option will show workflow examples for running tests in parallel. Click Distributed JMeter, review the test content included in the sample, give your test a name, and click Create and Run. Allow the test to execute, and voila! Now you're running tests in parallel. With TestCube, you can also create a workflow that orchestrates multiple existing workflows to run in sequence or in parallel. Start by specifying the name and optional labels that you want to add to this workflow. Then select the Add the First Workflow button to select an initial workflow. Once added, you can add more existing workflows and organize them to execute in any desired order or combination. Once you're done combining, select the Next button to see the corresponding YAML for your workflow. Once again, you're going to click Create and Run to see how TestCube executes the orchestration of multiple test flows for you. When a test execution is complete, you can access logs, artifacts, and reports quickly and easily in just a few clicks. 
Additionally, the dashboard provides a centralized interface to manage all test workflows and executions, while our test insights provide detailed metrics about all executed tests, making it easy to track key performance indicators, pass-fail rates, and more. And that's it! Now you're ready to get started with TestCube. Happy testing!